What's up guys and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas and in today's Vlogmas video I'm sharing with you guys some Christmas themed lunch ideas. I think I do have two clips that I have from previously that aren't Christmas themed but I know I'm late to the game. I'm sorry you guys. I am always late. I apologize. I probably should have shared this last week so that anybody who wanted to do holiday themed lunches for their children could have gotten a head start but at least these videos don't go anywhere so if you want to use them for inspiration for next year you absolutely can these are all pictures of thumbnails that i've used in previous years because i've literally shared a trillion of these holiday themed lunches no matter what holiday it is i love to kind of spruce up their lunch box it doesn't have to be anything spectacular whatever theme that it is whatever color that that holiday celebrates it's a go for us so for christmas if it's red if it's white if it's green it flies and so there are no rules it's your kitchen but it just makes the kids lunch boxes fun so i'll make sure to leave all the other ones that i've done in the past down below but now here we are at day Day one. So for this day, I just did peanut butter and jelly, just regular old peanut butter and grape jelly. And I cut the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with a gingerbread food cutter. I know it probably doesn't look the greatest, right? But it's the best that we had for what we were working with. But whenever I do something like this, I usually include the extra pieces for the kids. This way they still have something fun, like the actual gingerbread sandwich, but you can tell that it doesn't give them a whole sandwich. So I always give them the extra pieces and this happens to be Maya's tray so beyond the gingerbread man with all the extra pieces I also went ahead and gave her some of those pickle chips they have green flecks in them they're white white and green it flies uh, gave her some raspberries and then I found these gingerbread cookies I believe at Trader Joe's so I just went ahead and put them on the tray to go along with our gingerbread theme and those are also gummies from a Trader Joe's and their red white white and green. So I went ahead and threw those on their tray as well. Now here is Jacob's tray. He has pretty much the same thing, except instead of raspberries, he has green beans and tomatoes. And then instead of the pickle chips, he has some Walmart brand knockoff Cool Ranch Doritos. But that is it for Jake. You can always tell that my kids have, you know, different taste buds and I usually try and cater to each one and now this is Mason and so he has the exact same thing as them the sandwich the raspberries the cookies the gummies except his chips are different he has a cheddar sour cream that's as red as you're going to get with a chip so like I said for me it works but that's it for day one and now rolling into day two it's a Tuesday and so we kind of went off a taco Tuesday theme because I found these red and green tortilla chips at Big Lots. So I thought that would just play in perfectly with our theme. So here on the tray, this is a kid that likes sour cream. So I have red and green chips on the tray along with salsa and nacho cheese and sour cream. Here in the corner, I have some of that hot cocoa and marshmallow flavored popcorn. So that's kind of their sweet treat. I also gave them strawberries and then they also have some of these sour watermelon gummies and then Mason doesn't like that chocolate popcorn and he doesn't like sour cream so his tray doesn't have sour cream and in place of that popcorn he has those pretzels that are covered in white chocolate with a little bit of the crushed up candy cane there by the snack factory and they're the peppermint chocolate twists oh my goodness they're so good if you like mint I highly suggest them but that was it for day two now rolling in to day three I wanted to do a bit of a pizza and kind of a play off a of snowman. It kind of worked. It doesn't really, like I said, my kids don't care. It's all about the fun to them. So it was a little bit harder with the pepperoni because I kind of threw it off. But these are those Red Baron pizzas. And I just used black olives to make buttons and two eyes. And then I cut a piece of pepperoni for a nose. And I used a tiny bit of black icing with a toothpick just so that I can 
get a mouth. Now you'll see that I did a veggie for Maya and Jacob because they like veggies and they also like pepperoni. So this is Mason's. His is pepperoni free and you can kind of get a better vision of the snowman along with one of those frosted cookies, some apple cinnamon applesauce, some raspberries, and then a package of Annie's red gummies. Now this is Maya's tray. Like I said, her and Jacob both like pepperoni and they both like a cucumber and tomato. So I cut them up some cucumbers and tomatoes. Hers has pepperoni and then Jake is the only one that got two cookies just because he's a big boy. Now, like I said, I know this probably doesn't look perfect, but it's not about perfection. The kids were hysterical. They were eat saying that they were eating Olaf pizzas. So whatever makes them happy, right? All right, now we're on to day four. And again, we're sticking with red and green. So keep that in mind because anything flies. And so today we decided to do just pasta, like pasta and red sauce that works. And so I just did some penny pasta with my meat sauce. And then I found some of these cake bites with Elf on the Shelf. So we just had some of that as our dessert. Now, of course, like I said, Mason is not veggies where Maya and Jacob are. So... Um, Jacob has a broccoli along with, he had a Nutri-Grain strawberry bar and some pepperoni pizza flavored goldfish. And Maya had the exact same thing, of course, smaller portions. And she had one of those Nature's Bakery Fig Bars in the raspberry. And then Mason had pretty much the same thing as them well, the same thing as Maya, except instead of broccoli, he had a red apple. But again, for us, it's color scheme thing. And so we stuck with the color scheme and it worked. And the kids completely enjoyed this. Now on to day five, and this is a complete wide variety of totally different ideas because every kid wanted something different. And so that was fine with me because then it just gave you guys some extra ideas. Mason and Maya definitely love that picky kind of plate, like that homemade Lunchable where that's not Jake's style. So here's Jake's plate. I went ahead and took three of the little white powdered tasty cake donuts with two chocolate chips for eyes and pretzel rod arm so he has a donut snowman and then he has a sandwich that has ham and cheese with mayo and I used a candy cane and a stocking cookie cutter to cut him out his sandwich he has some raspberries and strawberries a package of nacho cheese cheese it snaps and then some of the gummies and now here is Maya she has the same snowman the same gummies but she has a strawberry flavored yogurt with a string cheese she has four Ritz crackers with pieces of pepper and then she has strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And so Mason has the same fruit and the same fruit snacks as well as the same snowman donut, but he has strawberry jelly with peanut butter on four crackers with a strawberry yogurt and a cheese stick. And that was it for our Christmas themed lunches. And now this was just a random lunch that I found that I guess I never share with you guys. Like you can see it's from the old house, but on this day, I think I just have the littles right here and it's for chicken and waffles. My kids absolutely love that. And for me, I don't mind because it covers all of the bases. So it, they get to have like a little sweet treat with their waffle and their syrup and they get to have something a little bit more substantial like a chicken patty. And so I always give them some ketchup on the side. This is Maya. She has the cheese it snaps along with a string cheese. And then my kids love their fruit. So they have some blueberries there and some strawberries. But again, my kids love all of that and then Mason has the exact same thing except instead of those chips he has a granola bar. Mason absolutely loves any kind of granola bar, fig bar, anything like that. Like that's the kind of kid who will get down with that but he just had the same thing for the rest of the stuff but that was it for my little random clip and then I have one more to share with you and this was a day that Jacob took the picture for me but all kids had the exact same things and we had just had tacos earlier in the week and we had leftover meat so every kid just got two tacos with some lettuce tomato and sour cream at least those who ate it Mason doesn't eat lettuce tom tomatoes or sour cream so his just has meat and cheese but then Jacob had the watermelon gummies a small two-pack of Oreos and then just a handful of cheese doodles and I believe that day all the kids had the same snacks like I think their tray was literally identical except for that little side 
side dish. And like I said, if they ate it, they got it. Otherwise, they did not. But that is it, you guys, for this time's lunch video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope at some point we can go ahead and inspire your lunch boxes. Like I said, I've been doing these for years. And with more time on my hands, I've certainly been more creative, like making that wreath right there for Jacob out of cucumber sandwiches and stuff. Like I've gotten super crazy. I've done cookies where I've decorated them for them or marshmallows, grapes and strawberries and a little thing with Christmas tree cakes and special notes. You name it, they've gotten it. But this year is just a little crazy. So I did the best that I could. But again, I hope we inspired you any which way that we could. I hope you guys are having an amazing Christmas week. If this is the last video you click on before Christmas, I hope you have an amazing holiday. I wish you a super Merry Christmas from my family to yours. I love you guys all so much. Subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.